What's up, people? Down at the uh, Acme back home. Levittown, PA. There's my old record store. There's, uh, there's only one. There's uh, an AQK modular up there. I don't know how good you can see it. Probably not that good. If it still looks like it's still there, I might just see the case. I'm pretty sure it's a uh, slide like traffic model. All right, so I have a uh, note here. I gotta take a couple of my phone numbers real quick, just for, just for obvious reasons. All right, so it's pretty right to the point. Is, I am interested in purchasing the old Feathers AC unit hanging out the back of this building. Been eyeing it up since I was a kid for about 25 years. No longer live in the area, but visit relatively often. I'm willing to either pay cash or get another new inbox unit of equal BTU and install it in its place. The fetters in this building is a, obviously we all know this, it's a 1957 model and it's part of the Weather Bureau series and known as Weather Wheel Units. It comes from the round vent. Explain that it's in very rough shape. Be very up to the task of ending the full rebuild restoration if you're willing to work out a deal for it. I know a lot of you guys are asking how I word these and how I get people to be willing to work with me. Well, that's it. You be real with them. Be honest with them. Tell them, that, you know, be flat out. You'd be surprised a lot of times people are willing to work with you. And yes, I actually carry around a, uh, <laughs> a green notebook and a pen for the sole purpose because you never know. I even got myself a uh, pina colada slurpee one down here. So, yeah, it's 1.29 p.m. It's a little chilly out here. I'm just gonna ship throw my jacket on quick, but I'm not gonna go into. Anyway, I'm gonna go up to where the unit is and I'll show you. I've never actually featured this unit on video before, but you guys have seen it on pictures several several occasions. Looks like some of these people have common sense. I'm not seeing many, many face comms around here, which is kind of unusual providing we were in a relatively blue area we're about 25 minutes outside of, or 25 miles outside of philadelphia and i think people are starting to get woke around here anyway and realize this is all a crock of crap where can i park i'm just gonna back into a spot over here and we'll take a walk over If anyone hits this truck, my fiance is gonna kill me. Uh, things are baby. Let's bear with me for a second while I, uh... Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I don't really need a backup camera, but it does help, I'm not gonna lie. All right. Um, I think that's everything I'm gonna need. Put the windows up and shut the truck off. That's the building that the Fedders is in right there. Now I gotta find a place to leave this note. And as you look up here, a couple of EQK modulaires yet. Yeah. The other side of the building has a uh, GM Frigidaire, probably a meter miser model. That, where that modern POS is, that used to be a 1950s era Gibson, but I don't remember the actual unit being there. In my lifetime, it was always just a case of it. And um, that's been there for as long as I can remember, up until somewhat recently, actually. Anyway, take a walk around. It's a right aid there. That, fence, that brown fence was never there up until probably five or six years ago. It's chilly out here. Fetters with the 80s model with the Fetter sticker on it. That's not interesting at all compared to what you're about to see. Here it is. It's rough. But there it is. It comes to model S compressor. With the data tag on it. <laughs> it's laughing at me. As you can see, it's got the embossed on the side. It's been a lot of denying this stuff for years and years and years. Still beautiful though, isn't it? Oh, it's rotted all the way through down here. That's bad. The that thing's gonna fall apart when we take it out of there. 
Well, they did some work to doctor it up and painted it because that used to be completely rusted all the way around. There's a unit mount for the compressor. That's gone, man. <laughs> and I'm about to be gone too before I draw attention to myself. It's a shame, I gotta find a uh, spot where I can leave that note. But yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's where it is. So, that's about the story of that. Anyway, guys. So we're going to rip this off. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to take one more note at that. No, that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for taking the time to watch. And let me know what you think. And most of all, in this case, wish me luck. Because I don't even know where the hell I'm going to leave this freaking note at. <laughs> Anyway, guys, peace out. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.